My name is Eric Bartlett. I'm, I've been a cellist in the New York Philharmonic for 23 years, and I'm just retiring. We always had bikes in Vermont when I was a kid, and uh, we went up through the, the sizes just like any family would. In my family, there were a lot of kids, so there were a lot of hand-me-downs. And my sister and I, we got interested in biking. Many years later, when I was living in New York, I think she thought I was getting fat or something, but she started. my sister started to worry about me, and she gave me a bicycle, a motorbicane that she had purchased. And I started riding the loop around Central Park uh, incessantly. In the late 90s, she and I started doing one-week bike trips in September before the season got started. And about that point, my brother John said, is this exclusive? Can anybody join? And uh, so he, he jumped on board and we started doing trips, the three of us, one-week trips. And it was during one of those trips that I said, have either of you ever considered the possibility that we could do something even bigger? And they said, like what? And I said, well, like, you know, all the way across the country. And, and they were intrigued. It took a lot of planning to find a space in the calendar where everybody could leave work uh, for, for that long. But we worked it out and uh, we did the big family bike trip in 2005. I took uh, time off from the orchestra, I think from the end of March of that year, that was 2005, and then on through the summer. Four of us flew out on the plane, uh, and my sister and her boyfriend drove out with the bikes in her car, and then we made sure to have somebody driving the car, uh, a lot, sort of um, from the beginning of the day to the end of the day, they would bring our civilian clothes and, and all the extra tools and stuff like that in the car and meet us at the end of each day's ride. So for at the very beginning it was uh, my wife Sally and my son Corey were with us and then my mother took over and our mother I should say and she uh, drove along through, through uh, all of um, Nevada and most of Utah and then friends of my brothers took over and so on and so on. It was this way in which you're detached from other forms of reality and you're just always moving forward and you're just always riding and this this is your world for those 11 weeks. So we started at Point Reyes National Seashore and, and rode west out to the lighthouse uh, to begin the trip and dipped our, our tires into the Pacific Ocean there. And I took a little vial of Pacific Ocean water and I put it in a little this little seat pack well, here, or maybe the one that was under my, my seat, and carried it all the way across the country, and then, and then emptied it into the Atlantic when we got there. The views and the scenery was just absolutely spectacular. And uh, when, you, when you're riding it on a bicycle, and you're seeing it up close, and you're stopping whatever you want to take it in, it, it, that, that alone is, uh, is memorable. With mom involved and with Sally and Corey involved, of course, we remember lots of, uh, of sort of the family time. The trip was uh, absolutely epic, um, and it's one of those things that we, you may only do once in a lifetime. It took years to plan it. It took 11 weeks to do it. It took a lot of determination to actually follow through and, and get all the way across the country. And there's a, there was a lot of satisfaction in just doing that uh, at the end of the day. We, I think we all missed it when the trip was finally over.